So if I wash, have a bath, that's fine. Physically I'm clean. But close to Allah, in Allah's eyes, clean and pure, would that be that person? Just like you have a bath physically, you have to clean yourself internally. This is mutatahireen. And this is what Allah says, yuhibbu al-mutatahireen. So how is Allah prepared for us to clean our buttons? Allah said, that just like giving you water to clean your physical body, in abundance, in the earth, to clean you. Allah says in the same way, Ya ayyuhu al-ladheena amanu dhkuru Allah dhikran kathira. Dhikran kathira, Allah says. In the same way, I have given you the advice, guidance that do my dhikr kathiran kathira. When you do dhikr, just like water is in abundance to clean your body so you can come to me fresh and come to my home fresh. The same way, likewise, similarly, Allah has given us dhikr in abundance, kathiran kathira. When the servant does the dhikr of Allah, just like you go into the bathroom, the toilet, you come out clean. So when we have come, for the dhikr of Allah, the more the dirt that is within us, the impurities, the deficiencies, the maladies. This is the speciality of this water, the dhikr of Allah. For the sake of Allah's cleanliness, all the dirt, maladies, impurities, defects within us, the eye sins, ear sins, tongue sins, hand sins. The pious predecessors asked them, why did you do dhikr? They didn't do dhikr, they were washing their batin. Ghusl of the batin. Wasabihu bukratan wa asila. Many places Allah saying, wash in the morning, wash in the evening. Dhikr in the morning, dhikr in the evening. Because these dirts of the bath and dirt impurities are dangerous. You have to have a bath in the morning. In the morning you have to remember Allah. And all night long you will clean. The effect will be to clean the sins. And in the morning you have to do dhikr to clean the sins of the day. So it's lazim ghusl twice a day. Dhikr of Allah. Dhikr, am I right or am I wrong? Am I right? This is the Quran is saying lazim. Essential. And the person who doesn't do this will be dirty, impure, his batin will be impure. And because we are mu'min, we have iman, Allah will send us inshallah to Jannah. But Allah says, I will bathe you in my laundry, in my washing machine. I have a laundry set aside for you. You know the laundry, you go there, you put the clothes in the machine, they come out clean. Allah says, fine, come to me with the sins. Batini, maladies, defects, impurities. If you don't follow the tariqah I told you in the world, doing dhikr to clean your hearts, you heard the Quran, you heard the hadith, as a Zakir, alhamdulillah, has narrated more than 100 uh, hadith with regards to the fawaid and the benefits of dhikr. Many mashaykh, fire of Jahannam. And when the blots of lying, ghibat, the zina of the eyes, are wiped away in the rafta, and the wrong actions we did with our hand, the zina, the bad consequences in our life that we pass through in the hereafter. Then Allah Ta'ala says, I know you, O oh my son, that what sins you did in isolation, in hiding. Allah Ta'ala is sattar. He hides the ayub, the defects. But in the akhirah, He will reveal to everyone that this was that person, you respect in him. Look, he used to do these actions. And because he recited my kalama, I want to, I have to, I will take him to Jannah. But I have to make him capable of paradise. So the more sins he had, the higher the centigrade te- Celsius temperature will be in hellfire, that I will burn him. And that is the heat that will be set. So we have two options today. We will have sins. We'll have sins. We will commit sins. So either wash them here. The tariqah, the method to wash the sins is morning and evening. The more tawf you get, sit in the dhikr of Allah. Sit in the dhikr of Allah, that's it. And you will keep on cleaning yourself continuously. And subhanallah, mouth will come in that journey. It will come in the evening or in the morning. It will come at some time, won't it? It will come either in the daytime or in the nighttime. And in between that will be mouth, death. So if you clean yourself in the morning and do dhikr, then you will depart this world pure. Pak. And if death comes in the night, then we will depart the world pure. Because we did ghusl and washed ourselves and did dhikr of Allah in the evening. And so we'll depart pure. So Allah has given a great cycle, schedule, framework. Allah says, morning and evening. Not just do my dhikr once in the day. Morning and evening. Morning and evening. Subahu. Allah tells wa bukratan wa asila. So morning and evening. So during dhikr, these words came from my mind. Beautiful words of advice, beneficial words. So I enjoyed this, discussing this. But I was in the dhikr mood, the mood to do dhikr. For two, three days I've been ill, and there's a burden on my mind, and there's a lot of illness. So these suddenly words came to my mind. I thought, okay, some brothers who are old customers, they're here. A lot of old customers I can see. But inshallah we want new customers to come, sit in the dhikr.